Hi, this is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial, bringing you more useful gardening tips to help improve our environment. When you're choosing native plants, sometimes you want something that's really long blooming. And this plant, our native honeysuckle here in the Northeast, is called Lenisera sempervirens, and it's a very long blooming plant. In fact, it's one of our longest bloomers in the Northeast. The common names for the plant include trumpet honeysuckle and curl honeysuckle. Now it is in early November, and we still have flowers on the plant, which is pretty amazing here in New York for this time of year. These tubular flowers are magnets for our hummingbirds that um, come and nectar in our garden. So if you really want to attract hummers, this is a great choice. Trumpet honeysuckle is a native vine. Uh, sometimes people grow it as a shrub, but uh, it really works better as a vine. And one way that you can identify it is the way that the stem intersects the leaves. It's quite unusual relative to uh, many plants. The flowers start off in early summer and go through, well, here we go, into the fall. And they are followed by these really beautiful red berries. Now, these berries are interesting because they are um, very much like some of the invasive berries that we see on invasive plants. Uh, but they have the advantage to migrating birds of being more nutritious. And that really makes a great case for planting native. Some of the other selections that we might make in our garden or some plants like uh, Japanese honeysuckle or amar honeysuckle, the invasive bad boys of honeysuckles, have berries that birds love but are not very nutritious for them. And I liken this to uh, migrating songbirds loading up on M&Ms like we might before a marathon. So favoring native plants that have more nutritious berries, which have a higher lipid content, fat content, oftentimes um, higher proteins and better nutrients is really the way to go. This is a beautiful plant. It's uh, very showy with the berries and with the flowers and really suggested as an addition to your landscape. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful gardening tips to improve our environment, please visit us at www.ecobeneficial.com.